Excuse my French, but I'm freaking the fuck out. Matt and I just realized, because I don't know, because I'm a freaking dumbass and I did not put two and two together, that we saw, not only saw, but saw like a blowout of a situation between Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie in Wyoming when we were there. I'm freaking the fuck out. Yes, we have already talked to authorities. Like, how I did not put two and two together that this happened, like, I don't know. So I'm following this case. Matt's not. He's a guy. He has other shit going on. He could probably care less. I'm filling him in on this case a couple days ago, and, and I guess maybe he Googled it and saw a picture of Brian. Matt has an insane photographic memory. And so for two days now, he's like, I fucking know that guy, Brian. Like, I don't know how, but I know this guy, Brian. Like, I've seen him before. When Matt says that, anyway, we were in Wyoming. So Matt woke up this morning and he's freaking out. And he's like, oh my God, I know. I know how he looks familiar. Nina, we saw them in Wyoming. They were the couple fighting at the restaurant. We were at this restaurant, you guys. Friday, August 27th, 1 p.m., sitting right next to them. They got kicked out of the restaurant and were fighting with the hostess. They were fighting with the hostess. She was hysterically crying and she walked out and she, she was crying and she was staying on the sidewalk and I was watching the whole thing unfold. And he walked back in the restaurant and he's fighting with the hostess. And we, I, I didn't know what happened. I don't even know if they got kicked out, but they like left abruptly. And like, she was standing on the sidewalk crying and he walked back in and was like screaming at the hostess and then walked back out. And then he walked back in like four more times to talk to the manager and to like tell the hostess off. And like, she, all right, I'm calming down and I'm going to try to speak more clearly. I don't even know if these videos are uploading or if they're uploading in order or if they make any sense. I'm just like freaking out right now. I'm having like an out of body experience. How I did not remember this situation, like it just, it just like left my memory. Like we stayed in Wyoming for another four or five days for a wedding and we just had like an amazing trip and like I didn't think about the couple fighting in the restaurant ever again. But Matt like knew he had seen this guy before and he could not drop it. And then it just like clicked this morning. He woke up out of bed and he was like screaming bloody murder. And he was like, oh my God, I, I know, I remember it, it was them in the restaurant. And it just like, I felt like my blood like left my body. I was like, oh my God, like you're right. Like it was them. It's just crazy. It feels surreal. Like now I feel, I don't know, just, it was, it was weird. And I remember this. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to try to go like more into detail now. I just wanted to get like the general, just like the gist of it out there. Um, I feel like I'm going to cry. This is so fucking weird. Um, I just, I went to the bath. They were sitting right next to us, like right fucking next to us and we were both sitting right by the hostess stand right by the front door I went to the bathroom I came back and they were like abruptly leaving like something happened at first my my first like, thought was like they were displeased with the service and they were walking out or they were trying to get out of paying their bill but it was kind of like a scene and um I was like zoned in for some reason and Matt was like on his phone and I was like babe like put your phone down like something is like going on you guys it was like a fucking scene like something that doesn't happen every day at a restaurant the way he the way he was acting she was crying she was upset this had to have been right before she died so she walks out she's upset she's crying and he's like more angry like you could tell like she's it's more sadness for her and she's crying for some reason i don't know reason i don't know if she was embarrassed or what because i don't know i put it here i don't know what was going on I'll, i could just see what was unfolding and so she's standing on the sidewalk. I could see her through the front door and she's standing on the sidewalk crying. And he walks out with her, but then like right away, turns around, walks right back in. And he's, you know, kind of like violently like talking to the hostess. And he, you could tell he's angry. And um, and she, they're just kind of like doing the whole like, like, sorry, like we don't know what to tell you kind of thing. You could tell he, he was relentless. He wouldn't drop it. Whatever it was, he wouldn't drop it. He walked out, he walked back in the restaurant probably four more times um, just to kind of make a scene and just to get his point across, which, you know, I don't know what that was. I really don't know what happened, but she, and she just apologized. I think she was telling him like, come on, like just drop it, let's go. And she like looked at the hostess and she was just like, like I'm sorry. And that was it. And it's just like a, 
I, I don't even know. I don't even have words right now. I don't. It's just, it's just weird. It's crazy. Um, and I would have never remembered that. I would have never like I was so obsessed with the case and the story, and like I just didn't. I didn't even really think for the longest time at the fact that we were in Wyoming at the same time as them. Like I did, it didn't even cross my mind. And that story of like a couple fighting in a restaurant or that you know that situation, it just I would have never thought of that. Like I said, Matt, he just has this like extremely like strong photographic memory and it just hit him. And um, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm a thousand percent positive it was them. I Y'all, this is crazy. I am like, I'd, I, I'm like interested in the case, but I am not like that heavily invested. My One of my best friends texted me who is very invested in this case and was like, you have to post this in a Facebook group. Um, so I think I made the mistake of doing so because now it, I am being blown, like I'm being blown up and I'm being torn to shreds. Um, <laughs> I have no reason, no reason to fabricate a story like this. I could care fucking less. Um, I'm literally just putting the story out there because one, it's crazy. And two, I just figured it could help in piecing together the timeline of what happened up until today. I don't think that anyone actually stated that they saw them on the 27th. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not that invested in the case. I don't know the exact timeline, but if you think it sounds crazy, like I agree, it sounds crazy to me too. Like I'm still in shock. Like I can't believe that this happened. I can't believe that we not only like saw them, like we didn't just see them walking on the street. Like we witnessed an incident, like a whole like ordeal. Like it, it's crazy. And, um, I didn't put this out there for attention or um, for any other reason, for any other, for any other ulterior, I, I didn't have any motive. Um, simply just wanted to put this out there because one, it's crazy. And two, I hope that it helps with maybe adding the timeline together of what happened leading up to her death. Um, and that's it. So do what you want with the information or believe me, don't believe me, I really don't care. Um, that's that. So hopefully we get some surveillance from the restaurant and it can help somebody figure this shit out.